Good morning. In this video, I'll discuss about how to apply intervention analysis in R Studio. I have data set of crude oil starting from 2018 October 31st. In order to apply intervention analysis in R Studio, we require causal impact package. I have already installed this package. So simply I load it in library so that it can be recalled. So library causal impact and enter. Now causal impact package has been reloaded or recalled in my R studio. In India, 25th March 2020 has been announced as first day of lockdown because of pandemic COVID-19. That's why I assumed this March 25th as intervention. I'm going to check either this intervention date has significantly impacted this crude well or not. So let's run with the help of different steps. First step talks about your time points. What is meant by this time points? Let's see. I have mentioned here time points. So instead of these time points, I can even write X, Y, Z, whatever uh, name would be there. So time points equal to sequence dot date as dot date and 2018 10 31st because this is my initial date in this data set by equal to one because it is of uh, daily nature of data. That's why I have mentioned here by equal to one length dot out equal to 535 observation. It means in this data set total observations is 535 which has been mentioned here then I have converted this crude well in terms of time series nature and for that I have simply mentioned here crude equal to TS and crude well it has been also run here then I have mentioned in this uh, I have simply combined this crude with the help of time points. For that, the command is like ju uh, crude and time dot points. As you know that we are going to check the intervention and 25th March is my intervention date. That's why I have divided in two subcategory. The first category is pre-period which is from 2018 10 31st to 2020 20 March 24th. So I have run it. Then let's talk about post period. So post period is 2020 March 25th onwards. And then I have mentioned it the main command that is causal impact data intervention because I have mentioned or I have included this crude price in data underscore intervention that's why I have written here effect equal to causal impact data underscore intervention comma pre period post period and then simply I run it. Now the entire causal impact is being saved in effect. It will take a little bit time and then automatically it will be captured in this effect. So now this effect has been saved here. So let's see by plot. So simply I write here plot and effect and 
enter this is my causal impact graph or plot the moment i apply in plot i got three different figure like original point wise and cumulative our agenda of discussion is this so the black line is our actual data and this green dark green is our predicted one this line is my intervention so either after this intervention it has increased or decreased or it has impacted positively or not or negatively or not or significantly or not that will be seen with the help of summary effect however it seems this intervention has not affected but let's see with the help of summary command so summary effect and enter when i run this summary effect enter i find different outcome like the actual this is my average actual of this crude and the change has been here positively by 52895 if i talk about either this has significantly affected or not it will be understood with the help of this p value p value is 0.42 it means 42% that's why it has not significantly affected it means the intervention in crude oil has not affected significantly in more detailed we can run this command like summary impact and report so that i can get uh, uh, detailed understanding about it like summary then effect because i have saved the value in terms of effect and underscore report enter so the moment i run i got much detailed understanding of this intervention output so let let me zoom it yeah let's see it says that there are so many things which uh, when you go through it it is one of the great command so many things will be able to understand but let's me let me read it it has been mentioned here during the post intervention period the response variable had an average value this so entire things will be mentioned here let me scroll and then yes the probability value or the probability of obtaining this effect by chance is p equal to 0.42 it means 42% this means that effect may be spurious and would generally not be considered as statistically significant it means it has not contributed significantly but here i want to know either it has created positive impact or negative impact for that i simply read this paragraph this means that although the intervention appears to have caused a positive effect this effect is not as statistically significant when considering the entire post intervention period as a whole what is the conclusion conclusion is that this 
intervention it means first day of lockdown in india has affected positively to the crude well but not significantly so this is all about how to apply intervention analysis in our studio i hope you like it thank you very much